Hi everybody, Kyle from the Technophiles back once again with another video review, this time of the Droid Razor Max. Now I did a review earlier of the Droid Razor, um, and I liked it, it was, a, it was a buy it, it was a bit on the big side, but then again, you know, I have played with other phones that were a bit on the bigger side and still kind of like them. Uh, the Droid Razor Max is a step up from the Droid Razor as in it has a huge battery life, up to almost 21 and a half hours of talk time three over like 380 something hours of standby time now what does that mean for you as in terms of the device itself it just means the profile is a little bit different with the droid razor you notice that the bevel that was right here snuck in and it made the phone very slim well you can see from here that the phone is a bit thicker on this side and that's to accommodate the much larger battery uh, much like the droid razor it is wrapped in kevlar in the back um, rear facing camera is 8 megapixel Front facing camera is 1.3 megapixel, capturing 720p. This one's capturing 1080p. It is a touchscreen phone. Um, they have minimized the uh, input options from the phone. As you can see around here on the edges, you have your, HDMI, your mini HDMI, your USB port, the headphone jack, the power button, and the volume rocker. And that's pretty much it besides the micro SD slot, which hides behind this little incapable window. This stupid little thing, but it's right in there. See, perfect. Um, call quality was really good. Everything came out fantastic. The speakerphone works very, very well. Uh, it is comfortable after a while. Once you start holding it for a while, holding it in your hand, it does become comfortable. Um, display is very crisp, very clean, as you can see right here. Uh, it is running. It is just running Android uh, Gingerbread, but it is upgradable to Android. 4.0 ice cream sandwich when it becomes available. Uh, again, customizing on the screen, you've played with an Android phone before, you know what you're getting. Um, we're going to take a look at some other uh, things later on uh, from other you know, phone software companies, seeing how those phones match out. But so far, what Verizon has done with both the Droid Razor and Droid Razor Max have put out quality phones that will last you a long time battery wise, display wise, the colors and vibrance and everything is really good on it. Um, this phone it, it, it's very it's very handable handable. That's not even a word. I'm just making up words here. We'll go with handable. Where it's handy and capable. Handable. Uh, it is very handy. It is very capable of handling all your duties that you're going to be using for smartphones. Uh, uh, there's, the touchscreen is very responsive. Uh, the dual core processor does what it's supposed to do. Didn't see very many lags when loading up applications or running from uh, switching from app to app. Never had a problem. Uh, the keyboard is very responsive. The vibration when you touch the key, very good. Not so many um, typing errors. So it seems the keyboard was actually uh, designed a little bit better for people with a bit of a fat fingers. So all in all. At the Technophiles, we're going to do the buy it, skip it, or flip it, and this one's going to be a buy it. Um, go out to your local Verizon store. You can either play with the Verizon uh, Droid Razor, which is, again is the thinner phone in the back if you like the sleek, thinner profile, or the Droid Razor Max if you're in for the battery life. Um, both of them had one slight flaw that I didn't like. These things slipped out of my hands I don't know how many times. So if you want to get a, a protective bumper around this thing, because this thing is very, it is thin. And it's also slippery. And I wasn't expecting the slipperiness. Um, I'm Kyle with the This has been the Droid Razor Max review. We'll see you all next time.